Greetings everybody and welcome to Just Norman Channel. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and share. And today we're going to be talking about a little bit, a little different here. Quentin Tarantino buys the LA Vista Theater. What will come of it? I found this story just to be so interesting. Nobody's covering it or anything like that. And I thought I'd try something different a little bit. You know me, I, I like to, you know, if I see something I like in the news and all that stuff, I'm going to cover it. So, since the creation of this, this audio <clears throat> on July 5th, it was reported that Quentin Tarantino purchases the L.A. Vista Theater, which I found very interesting. But what will he do with it is the question. It is an interesting situation. He talks, but unlike so many within Hollywood, Quentin is not Hollywood. He is the very opposite, the rebel that has been successful, but putting his money where his mouth is. I'm not surprised, but at the same time, I am. Does that make sense to you all? I think so. Some history on the Vista Theater. If you're not aware, I'm doing a little bit of synopsis here on a little bit of background, which I didn't know anything about this theater as well. Vista Theater is a historical single-screen movie theater in Los Angeles, California, located on Las Velas, on the border with East Hollywood. It was opened in October 9, 1923. Capacity max is 400 people. When you think about movie theaters, the Vista Theater is that which I think about when I think about a theater, you know? It is one of the remaining historical structures from the 1920s. When Hollywood was first built up and began attracting residents to its suburb homes from areas near downtown L.A. and East L.A., which at the time were middle and wealthy class sections of Los Angeles, until its refurbishment by Thomas Theaters in 1980. The theater showed softcore soft pornography, then moved to hardcore porn, and finally gay porn for 20 years. It also showed gay-oriented non-pornographic films, including the local premiere of The Times of Harvey Milk, 1945. The theater is a local landmark. It has been renovated to play new release movies and retains its historical architecture. And that's what I liked about this and stuff. When I think about movie theaters, this movie theater is what comes to my mind. And I don't know why. It just seems like that. I have nothing to base it off of, you know. But it retains this historical architecture in a manner reminiscent of the Groman's Chinese Theater. A theater's forecourt features cement handprints, footprints of noble film figures, However, the handprints and footprints at the Vista Theater tend to include more icons of independent and cult films such as Barry Boswick, Spike Jones, John C. Riley, and Martin Ladon, among others. Location on the famous Sunset Boulevard of Los Angeles. So getting back to why Quentin Tarantino purchased the famous historical place, he had the following to say in an interview with Deadline. I bought the Vista on the sunset, Tarantino said today on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast. Well, probably open it around Christmas time. And again, only film. It won't be Revival House. We'll show new movies that come out where they give us film print. It's not going to be like the Beverly, the new Beverly. The new Beverly has its own vibe. Apparently, he has a tendency of doing such things as Tarantino purchased the landmark New Beverly in 2007. That venue shows 35mm, 16mm, and reopened last month. He further stated that the following, The Vista is like a crown jewel, kind of a thing, Tarantino said. Well, show older films. But it will be like you can hold a four-night engagement. The Vista has been closed due to the COVID pandemic shutdown. The once upon a time in Hollywood director did not offer additional details about the recent purchase, but made clear his feelings about the current state of expedition, saying some chains have taken all the specialness out of movies. In which, you know what? I can completely agree with Tarantino. What's up? You know... 
some of these chains further he says some of these chains were there showing commercials all through it they don't turn the lights down everything is stadium scene plastic shit he said they have been writing their own epithet for the long time but they assumed the business would take you along it's been crazy throughout my career to see how the film experience is lessening for the viewer like every five years in closing Tarantino said he believes boutique cinemas might thrive. He might be right in Hollywood. But you will only get those that are in the area, I believe. But I had high hopes for the drive-in theaters making a comeback. I love the drive-in theaters. I even had the opportunity to introduce it to my own children in, a, in another way. Um theater uh movies in the in the in the park in our local city and stuff like that on these big old blow up uh screens and stuff and they're really cool and it kind of has that um you know um that vibe a little bit but you know i'd love to see drive-in theaters i'm surprised that drive-in theaters have not made a comeback you know it, it just kind of blows my mind i was hoping they would make a comeback with and, you know, with the pandemic and stuff like that, you know, it would actually, you know, create a different set of, you know, environment, you know. But it's interesting that he did this. But again, as I stated, I'm not surprised. Tarantino is a true um, movie goer, a true filmmaker and stuff, too, as well. I don't like all of his stuff. I like a lot of his stuff. You know, it's kind of raw and and bloody and stuff like that but you know what though he doesn't give a shit at least he's doing shit outside the box that's more i can say for hollywood so take care everybody i'm gonna wrap it up let me know what you think about this and stuff do you want me to do a little bit more of these kind of things and all that but take care everybody peace out and let's get me to 200 subs everybody bye